channel. Today, I just thought I would take a casual look through our local thrift store and see what we can find. I was kind of being lazy today and I was like, why not get out of the house and go thrifting? So let's go see what we can find. So one of the first things I came across was this table, and at first I was really confused why it had a fake drawer on the front, but then I figured out it was a sewing table, and it was in pretty good shape, solid wood, but I didn't really need it, so I left it. Then I found this lampshade, and I was so excited because these pleated lampshades are super in style right now, and I have not been lucky enough to thrift one until right now. Then I found these little guys, which I thought would be great for smaller lamps, but ultimately decided to leave them because I didn't love them. When I saw these, I was so sad because I actually have the same one and it's actually a brass that's underneath that black spray paint. As you can tell, this store was absolutely overflowing and stuffed with furniture, but unfortunately a lot of it was just not in any kind of shape that could be flipped easily, and so I had to leave it. Then I was so excited when I found another one of these lampshades, but unfortunately it came with the lamp and they wanted $16, and I just wasn't willing to pay $16 for a lampshade and a lamp I didn't want. They had a really good selection of floor lamps, like I loved this brass one because it was just really classic looking, but I don't know why I decided to leave it. I guess I just didn't really have a home for it, but they definitely did have a pretty decent selection of floor lamps. I found these two large square baskets in pretty good shape and I was excited because I knew exactly where I was going to use them in my house. And then I also found this basket which was pretty on the bottom, but I didn't love the handle so I wound up leaving it behind. You know I'm a sucker for frames, but unfortunately today's selection was not that great, so I wound up leaving without any. Well, that one was packed with a bunch of stuff, but like not really great stuff. I did find like one or two things, which I was happy to find. Um, like I found a really cool lampshade and some baskets, but. Um, we're gonna hit one more thrift store before heading home for the day because we just feel like being out and about. So we're gonna hit one more, see what we can find there, and then call it a day. This one had a slightly better selection of frames, but still kind of on the cheap side. I thought this cute little mirror was gonna be something special, but it wound up just being plastic, so I left it be. Okay, I know this desk is in super rough shape, but I could not help but think it would be the best project desk ever, and I wanted to bring it home. Unfortunately, it was already sold, so I had to leave it. And then I found not one, but two of these lamps, and I've actually found the same lamp before, but in green and did a thrift flip on it. And then finally, I found a good quality wood frame that I loved, and it even had a really pretty mat inside as well. I know it looks overwhelming, but this is truly one of my favorite local thrift stores because their miscellaneous aisles just go on forever, and they always have so much interesting stuff to find. Like this beautiful little crock, I immediately pictured taking the lid off and using it for a beautiful little flower arrangement. The little handles are so cute. And don't ask me why, but these little wooden candlestick holders might just be my favorite find of the day. They're so unique, even though they're so simple, so they definitely wound up straight in the cart and coming home with me. 
I found this faux magnolia stem that was a really good size, but unfortunately it was in terrible condition, so I had to leave it behind. But it was okay because I immediately lucked up and found this really great hanging plant. It was in great condition, looked really good, and even came with a pretty little basket. And then I found this rattan magazine holder, and I was very close to taking it home with me, but it wasn't in the best of shape, and I already have one in my online shop that is in better condition and more stylish in my opinion, so I left this one behind. Then I found this little pleated lampshade that was actually completely plastic, which I thought was interesting. It did have a little split in the side, but I still thought that it would be really great to use on a small lamp, like in the kitchen. This little box was really beautiful. I could totally see styling it on a shelf or something, but unfortunately that granary was stuck in there, so I had to leave this guy on the shelf. And then I found this frame, which I loved the shape of. I love the long shape, but I didn't love the dark wood of it, and so I decided to leave him on the shelf as well. That one had a lot more fun stuff to look at, so I'm glad we I'm glad we came to the second one and um, found some really cool things. I found these candlesticks that I'm so excited about, but um, I'll be sure to show you everything that I found from today's like little thrifting adventure. We might go get some dessert or something, and uh, yeah, we'll call it a night. Okay, it's a couple of days later, and it's time to do a thrift haul from our lazy day thrifting adventure. First thing that I found was these two large square baskets. Um, I got them for $4 a piece. I really loved how they were nice and wide, but also a really good size to use on my washer dryer. Our washer and dryer is located in our kitchen and it collects a lot of clutter because of it. So I loved that I could have a matching set that would sit on the washer dryer to kind of just catch that clutter that appears in our kitchen. And then I found this pleated lampshade that was in amazing condition and it was this beautiful neutral color. And ever since these became popular again, I have not been able to find one that's not like forest green or some crazy blue color or like a red. So I was so happy when I found this. And also I love that the ones that I have been finding have this big band at the bottom and this one was just pleated straight down. So I really love this and it totally will elevate the look of some other thrifted lamps that I have. So I'm really excited to use this, especially like in our dining room. And then I also found this other pleated lampshade. This one is, it's plastic, which I've never seen before. It definitely needs to be cleaned up, but because it's plastic, it'll be super easy to clean. But I loved that it had like the little light bulb um, clamp in there so that way it can fit any smaller lamp without overwhelming it and kind of sinking too low. So I think I'm going to try it on the lamp that I just redid for the kitchen and see how I like it. I may not love this color with the already white creamy color. It may need more contrast than that, but I think it's worth a try. It did have like this split on the side, which is pretty severe, but because of the material it is, it kind of just sits straight together and you don't even notice it. So I thought this was a good find for $2. Probably paid a little too much for that with it being split and whatnot, but I know I'll get some use out of it. Then I found this gorgeous hanging plant. I think it's really hard to find good looking faux greenery. So whenever I find some that in my mind looks really nice, um, I have to pick it up and this was not only nice looking but it was also in great shape and I know exactly where I'm going to put it and because it's hanging greenery I think it'll look even more realistic because you won't notice it because it won't be like at eye level um, and then the best part was is that it came with a really pretty woven basket too so I got the basket and the hanging plant for four dollars so I thought that that was a great little find. So then I found this really pretty cutting board and it's actually got like the marble on the top and then a wood um, detail on the base. It does say smile and it's like carved in there. So not a huge fan of that. I don't love things that say things, but it's not very deep. It's a super shallow carving and I'm almost wondering if I can sand it off 
So I'm gonna try to do that. And for $3, if I can sand that off and get like a really nice um, wood marble cutting board out of it, I think that that would be totally worth it. And then you probably saw on my little shopping adventure, this beautiful little crock with the handles on it. I think this is precious and I am going to take the lid off and display some flowers in it, like a little flower arrangement. I just think it's the perfect like little planter pot. It's so cute. I love the little handles and yeah, this was a great find for $4. And then even though I was not having very much luck in the frame department, even though I usually go all out on frames, I did find this guy. <laughs> And the pandas are so cute but it was just a really nice wood frame it was a good size and it also had a really pretty neutral mat on the inside so it'd make it really easy to swap out the art and to utilize this frame so for three dollars i thought that that was a good little find finally my favorite find of the day probably just because i've never seen anything like it before is these wood block candle holders so i didn't even notice this until i got them home they actually also have a metal plate screwed into the bottom of it for weight. So they're kind of hefty, um, but I just love how simple they are. I don't know if I'll keep them as is or if I'll do some kind of like thrift flip to it to um, update the appearance. Like maybe I'll paint half of it or stain them or something. I don't know. I need to look on Pinterest and find some inspiration to see what I can do with them, but I absolutely love them. And for 94 cents each, I thought that that was a super cool find. And that is it. That is my little Lazy Day thrift haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me. Rambo just really wants to be in the video this time, but um, I hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me. And I would love to know what was your favorite find of the day. Just let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And I will see you next time. Bye. You always have to see what mama's doing. You always have to see what mama's doing.